to clue four of the MCAL. Of the mystery knit along. Mini me 2023. Because we have multiple mini me's. We do. Eight of them to be exact. Yeah. And this is the last week of meeting the last two. Yeah. You will meet the final two kiddos and then clue five will be something else. Yeah. We'll tell you when we get there. Yeah. And um, so yes. How is clue three? Let us know. Um, everyone's looks lovely. Yeah. I haven't gone on and looked at the pictures from last week's for from clue three. Oh, I'm loving the combinations. Like, yeah. Sarah, you have I like to, to take see, a scroll. I like to see what other people put together because I'm bad with it. I'm bad with doing it. That's why I like kits so much. Like, if somebody yeah. does the color coordination for me, perfect. You're happy. I'm happy. You're just, yeah, totally. So, yeah, take some time. I'm, yeah. I'm loving scrolling the hashtag on Instagram mm -hmm. or scrolling the Ravelry thread. It's like... Yeah, so much fun. I'll have to get on there. So this week, clue four, you're going to meet Kaylee and Logan, who are the final two. Kaylee is Katie's baby, mm -hmm. and Logan is Sarah's baby. And the baby of all of them. He's the youngest. He's the final one. Sometimes I forget that he's the youngest. Like, sometimes in my mind, I just kind of assume Kaylee's the youngest. Yeah. Just because she's the shortest. And the you know, little girl, right? Yeah. She's the little And girl. her and Logan are so close. Like, the closest two, because they're two weeks apart. Yeah. So they're so, barely, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, <coughs> yes, <gasps> mini me number two, yeah. right there. Um, but clue four, it's, we don't even have a tutorial video for nope, you. It's very straightforward. <clears throat> you know what you're doing. Yeah. So if you don't want to hear anything about the next clue, I would turn it off because we're just going to talk about it a little bit right now, yeah, and we're going to show, and it. then we're going to show it. So, so quick yeah. video this week. I would say just. Go mm -hmm. and knit. Yeah. You will have no problems. And some people will mm -hmm. not love me for this clue. It's just long. They're getting long. The okay. rows are getting the long. The rows are getting long, but you're not knitting any more yarn. No, like you're it's not. a mental thing. I'm like, Sarah, are you serious? You know, whatever. Yeah. And then I laughed at why she Anyway, how about we're just gonna say we're gonna start talking about it now. Yeah, so if you don't so want to hear anything, hear it, bye. Bye. Happy Enjoy day. your week. Uh -huh. Thank you for tuning in. Anyway, I'm like, she picked, she thought of me for this clue for a couple of reasons, but I was laughing. You're like, one by one rib across 400 stitches. But essentially, you've literally knit the same amount of yarn every clue. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's no more. Actually, I think clue one potentially could have been the biggest one just because I think one of the colors in clue one, I almost ran out of. And then Second. another one in the button stitch, I almost ran out of. I okay. Think. It was close, hey? Yeah, but now I don't remember. I'd have so to actually like go really, and look at my yarn. Yeah, it's really close. But you will notice in this clue that the garter between is less. Is less as well. So you don't have to do it three times. You're exactly. now down to like one and then like a half or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. I know I messed up. I'm like, is this right? She's yeah. like, yep, that's right. I that's went from five to, to three to one. Yeah. Because I just wanted to like cut that section down. I didn't want to have these huge like yeah. extra stitch increases Yeah. when you don't need it. Yep. <clears throat> and so, it looks kind of cool, like bringing it closer together. So, yeah, yeah. I like so it. So it's essentially a one by one rib. Um, With a through the back loop on the knit side, on the knit part. That's right. It is a TBL. Yeah. So it's like a half broken. Or a I half mean, if you rib. hate, hate, hate through the back loops. Just knit regular just ribbing. Just knit regular ribbing. Yeah. Or if you're like, oh, I would rather like a full twisted rib than pearl through the back loops as well. Do I just, do I don't. I don't like. I it. don't like. And this was kind of the funny thing is because you mm -hmm. tend to do twisted ribs. I do on my hats. On your hats, but that's because you're going round and around, so yep. you never purl through the back loop. No, because I will not do that. And, but on, when you're doing it back and forth, you have to purl through the back. Like that's you have right. to do both. So I appreciate that it's not in here, but if you want to do it, that's how you do it. Yes. Because you'll need to knit and purl both, both through the back loop. Yeah. And but it was just made me laugh because I don't Wait. like. Twisted ribs Do you need to at pearl all. No. both sides through the back loop or just wrong to, side? No, everything through the back loop. Everything. Oh, right side, wrong side. Back. Everything through the back Heck loop no. if you want it that way. But uh, what I find is that a twisted rib, and, and I get it, it is nice to have that twisted rib on like a hat. It snugs it up a bit. But I didn't want that for this because I don't want to snug anything no, in. No, and so, this doesn't actually. No, but if you were to do full twisted, that. then it will. So keep that in mind if you're thinking of doing the pearls through the back yeah. loop as well. Um, I love the But I just kind of did it as a joke because I, not as a joke, but like kind of, because I 
And Jamie's like, oh, you should do a twisted rib on your toque or whatever. And I'm like, no, I hate doing that. I'm just going to knit curl normal. It's just and like, you're always saying, oh, a twisted rib, twisted, do a twisted rib, twisted rib. Twisted rib. I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> so I did it on this one. <clears throat> That's funny. At the but it's only a half. And I can't wait to show you. It actually gives a really neat, I like the texture that it gives. Yeah, me too. That half twisted. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. look like a classic ribbing. Which I love because I also love a fisherman's rib and I love a brioche. Yes. So this one is very much like, I love the stitch. Yeah. Yes, it's over 400 stitches, but... And that's know. also <laughs> why I didn't do anything like Fisherman's Rib or Brioche. Yeah. I did not want no. that. I wanted this simple. Yeah. You know, and I mean, I love regular ribbing and I love um, seed stitch. And that's kind of why I... Bookended it. Yeah. Well, not bookend. We're not done. We're yeah. not done, but... But br had to bring in the one by one back because yeah. I love it. So actually, for those of you, because there were a few people, well, who I've seen, maybe more, who accidentally their seed stitch turned into ribbing. Oh. Do you know what would be cool? It put, put seed, seed stitch, stitch in here. Now. So the thing with yeah. seed stitch is like, as you're working your knit one, purl one, you just always need to watch, am I knitting on my knits or knitting on my pearls from the previous row? You should always be doing the opposite. Knit on your pearls, pearl on your knits. For and seed then stitch. It, for seed stitch. And then it will mm -hmm. not turn into ribbing. So if you get off by a stitch and start accidentally ribbing your seed. Yeah, you need to look. You need to read. Read your work. Your you work need to below. read the stitches that are coming at you. And if it's a knit stitch coming at you, just the V coming at you, then you need to purl that stitch. If it's the purl bump. For seed stitch. Loop, for We're seed, stitch. About seed stitch. We're back on clue one because why not? Yeah. And if it's the purl bump, like the little whatever, then it's knit. Yeah. You do the opposite. Yeah. So for this clue, if you're worried about getting off or you're starting to, if it's a knit, you knit on it. If it's a pearl, you pearl on it. Yeah, exactly. And that's how you're going to get ribbing. Yeah. So Both you, sides. Yeah. <clears throat> so whatever side you're on, if you flip it and you are you have a knit stitch first, like a V stitch. Which you will, it. technically. Yeah. And then your pearl stitch, pearl it, knit on your knits, pearl on your pearls. Yeah. It's a good way to like start thinking about reading ahead if you are a bit more of a beginner knitter. Like it's good to be able to be able, it's good to be able to read your stitches yeah. on your needle themselves. Agree. So. Let's show it. I guess, yeah. Okay, so like big spoiler. So this is it. So um, you'll have to go back there. Well, and I can show my whole one. Which yeah, is nice. and then and I can, you show can show my show whole this. One. So I'll show that one first. this one first because I can't show the whole thing and then we can show the okay. whole. And then everything. next week, oh, we'll do a, next week will be a blocking video actually. Oh yeah, we'll do that. We need to get together and do that. Yeah. I should sew my ends in. Maybe I will, maybe, <laughs> maybe I won't. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Okay, so this is Sarah's mohair. <clears throat> And this is in the Schitt's Creek colorways by the Wool Baron. Let's see if we can get through without, without having to clip out anything. I already have to clip something from the podcast. So here's uh, clue one. Clue one, seed stitch. So Bam. There's that. Clue two, clue lace. Two. Love those colors. Okay. Clue three is the button. Clue three button. So right now you're seeing the reverse button and then the gray one is the front side button. Yep. Keep going. Keep Ooh, going. This is tough. No, you're good. You're good. Okay. Uh, up a little more, more. I can only see the blue. Keep going. There's another ribbing coming, and stop there. And beautiful, there's, beautiful. There's the ribbing. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> now but we both can show. I caught up because this is where I was when I put this one down. She's was, beating me now. Yeah, I am. Was um, at this clue, so I was like, "Well, I'll finish this clue out." Oops. Oops. Is that just unattached? It's unattached. Okay. Oh, I love your colors. <laughs> I'm so glad you can hold it up. I know, I'm excited. All right, so here is, of course, it's upside down. Well, here here is yes. the whole thing there. Oh, we so can there just it is. stretch it out. Yeah. So all the way up to clue four. And I just love these little rib sections. Oh, your buttons look so nice too on that top. On the pink, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Well, there it is there. So Looks I'm just so about good. to start clue five. <clears throat> And I bet you I'll beat Jamie. Oh, no, you will. Well, I decided I was cruising on this. I'm like, I'm going to actually get all of clue four done before our video. But then I decided to finish a sweater. So yeah. I was like, no, In I can do this. Row. I got time. So I'm one row into CC eight. Eight. Oh, look at how good that looks. Hey, everyone. Come on, come see how good this looks. looks. Name it. So there it is. Oh, I'll go see. If yeah. Oh, it should it's be actually. Fine. But if you can see the bottom. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh, that looks so yeah, good. So there's my clue four ribbing on my C7, and then I've just added in this color for my C8. I want to wear this so I know, bad. I'm so excited. I can't wait, like, now I'm really motivated. Get that done, get yep. clue five done, because then I can just be done. And then you can be done. Well, once, yeah. So, yeah, that's my focus yeah. this weekend is to finish it. Yep. <clears throat> So there we go. Hopefully you guys will it. enjoy it. Oh, that is yeah. a cute little it's stitch a cute marker. Little stitch marker, hey? But like, oh, are these just the best I'm colors? So excited. I just can't wait to hold up my whole I know. original shawl. I just cannot wait. I know. Me too. So, anyways, okay. Hope you guys enjoy. Yes. Have a great week, and um, make sure you get your pictures. You know, get in the chat thread yeah. because that's a good place yeah. to put some stuff. Yeah. Might draw some prizes, right? Yeah. And um, Insta. Love to just take like tag us in it so we can see. Yeah. If you have any questions, give me a shout. And um, yeah. Perfect. We'll see you next week for the last clue. Woo! Hooray! I'm excited. Me too. It's always fun to do it, but I'm always glad when it's done. Yep, me too. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot going on in, in two months, like yeah. for December and January. Like it's definitely it keeps us double busy. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely fun though. But we do it because we love it. Well, that's just it. And just you guys make it so worth it yeah. right it's so much fun so we'll see you next week happy, happy knitting, knitting.